listen to this. When I lived in L.A., my mother, my little Italian mother was very concerned about me because she, I talked to her on the phone. She goes, oh, you live in, in Los Angeles. There's so many crazy things going on there. It's on the news all the time. I said, Mama, no, don't worry about it. I'm fine. There's nothing to worry. It's very safe where I live. And so now I convinced my parents eventually that it's fine, it's safe. Please come out and visit me. So they come out to visit me. Now, this is before GPS, before cell phones. My father, who's hard of hearing, is at the airport at LAX. And he's calling me to get directions to my house, to my apartment in L.A. And this is how the conversation went with my hard of hearing father. I'm on the phone. Dad, okay, yeah, all right, you made it safe? Good, good. All right, you need directions? You're going to have to take the 405 north. No, no, north, not south. North. No, if you go south, you're going to go to San Diego. Remember where the, the cult members, they, they, they all killed themselves? They were waiting for a meteor or something, and they drank the jello or something. They killed themselves. Yeah, I know, God, don't go that way. You want to go north past the site of the Rodney King beatings that started all the rioting, <laughs> the looting, and the fires? Yeah, okay. Then, all right, you went, all right, now you want to go through Brentwood. Yeah, Brent, yeah, that, yeah, the same Brentwood. Oh, I know he did it, Dad. I know. There's nothing, it's stupid. I know you can't do anything about it. Just, what? No, not Hernandez. Menendez. The two kids that killed their parents. Yeah, it's right around there. Hey, listen to me. All right, come on. All right, now you're going to go, remember the ranch? You remember the ramp we were watching TV and they had the earthquake and all the cars that get crushed like little bugs and all the people inside? Yeah, that ramp. Yeah, they fixed it. You'll be all right. All right, take that ramp. <laughs> then you want to take the Mulholland exit. Uh, you remember where the Cosby kid got shot for no reason whatsoever? Yeah, horrible, horrible thing. Okay, so now you're on Mulholland. You're going to go past the site of the Manson murder. Oh, oh no, no, no. They, they, they tore that house down. It's not there anymore. Anyway, listen to me because this is the tricky part. You want to bear left where Phil Hartman got killed by his wife. Then you want to be right where Robert Blake killed his wife. Then go straight where Phil Spector killed somebody who played somebody's wife in a stupid movie. All right, now, when you look to the left, you'll see North Hollywood. Do you remember where the, um, the cops had the big shootout with the heavily armed robbers with the flak vest and the automatic? Yeah, that's it, right there, yeah. But don't go left, you want to go right over the mountain. You'll come up near the Chateau Marmont where John Belushi died in his own vomit in the hotel room, all right? Now you're gonna to get to an intersection where Biggie Smalls got whacked near Fairfax. No, he's a rapper, it's not important. All right, listen. Then you'll get to the set of lights where Eddie Murphy picked up the hooker with the Adam's apple, with the Adam's apple. Right, all right, now you're gonna pass two hookers, a drug deal and a burning car. Take a right, you'll see a bunch of gang members on the corner. If they're Crips, that's good, but if they're Bloods, you've gone too far, turn around. I'm two blocks before the shitty section. All right, be careful, thank you, bye.